up you guys okay so today's tutorial is gonna be me editing in Premiere Pro versus editing in iMovie and basically I'm just gonna take the same like three clips and make a cinematic sequence in iMovie and Premiere Pro because some people might want to know how to edit something in iMovie and honestly you can edit a cinematic sequence in iMovie so professionally and I didn't even like realize it so basically why don't we get started okay so first we're gonna start off in iMovie and basically this is gonna be weird because I haven't used iMovie in a while but let's get started okay so basically I'm gonna go to iMovie and just create a new movie and then I'm gonna just go with no theme sorry I haven't done this one in a while I'll title it Waikiki Cinematic Okay, basically, I already inputted my footage into the iMovie library, but basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in some footage in. So, I see that if I use I and then O, it'll do the in-out thing like Premiere Pro. That's great. I wonder if the comma works. Nope, comma doesn't work, but... Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in and then drag it to my timeline. Okay, so basically, I'm just splitting the clips to how I want it to look. Jeez, iMovie is super slow. Okay, so basically this was recorded at 60 frames per second, which means that if I slow it down and my movie is set at 30 frames per second, I'm gonna be able to slow it down to 50% and it'll be super smooth slow motion. So that's what I'm gonna do right now and that's what you guys should do in your cinematic sequences. You should always record at probably 60 frames per second and then that way you have a lot of wiggle room to add warp stabilizer and slow-mo and yeah so basically I think I can just select all my clips by holding shift and just selecting all my clips and then I'm gonna right click and then show speed editor and then I'm gonna go to the stopwatch or like timer thing at the top and then change the speed to slow and it'll all be changed to 50% yeah, so now it has that turtle icon on it. Okay guys, I'm gonna switch to talking to voiceover because I think it'll be a lot easier to just like focus on this and not like do that, okay? Okay, so basically every single clip is in slow motion right now, but I kind of want to do some speed ramping techniques and we'll see if we can do this in iMovie to make it look a lot cooler. Okay, so I'm not going to use speed ramping for all of these clips, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go to this third clip. And then to split the clip, I'm going to right click and then press split clip or you can press command B. And then I'm just going to speed it up by dragging the bar at the top. And I'm going to go until it's about 0.2 seconds. Okay. Now what sucks about iMovie is that you can't really do any fancy color grading or LUTs. So what I'm going to do is just do a simple little contrast and temperature, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to press the color palette and then select all my clips. And then just bringing the contrast to the right and then adjusting the temperature. And basically adjusting whatever would look good. So yeah, I guess it looks pretty okay. Um, if we were in Premiere Pro, we'd probably be able to do this better. But I'm also going to add another little speed ramping technique. Um, so in the first clip, I'm just going to split it in half. And then in the beginning, I'm just going to speed that up to about 0.9 seconds. So now it just speeds up in the beginning. And I'm also going to do the same for the end of that clip too. So I'm just going to split the end and then speed it up. And to make everything more cinematic, I'm going to add a letterbox effect. You can take this from the internet anywhere. You can Google letterbox and you can find some. So I'm just going to add it onto my clip. And now that looks pretty cinematic. So here's what the final product looks like. And now I'm going to quickly do one in Premiere Pro because I'm sh I have many tutorials on speed ramping and all that stuff. So yeah. Okay, so in Premiere Pro, it's a lot easier to put my clips in because I just have to put I and O and then comma to put a clip into my timeline. So it's going to be a lot faster and easier to scroll through the clips that I want to keep. Okay, now I'm actually going to select all my clips here and then press Command-R to get the speed panel. And then I'm just going to change all the speeds to 50% 
just like how we did in iMovie. And basically what is nice in Premiere Pro is that I can stabilize this footage. And I did try to stabilize in iMovie, but the stabilization was not that great. So I'm just going to nest by pressing Command D on the clips I actually want to stabilize, search up Warp Stabilizer, and then drag it onto those two clips that I nested. Okay, now we can add some speed ramping techniques. So I'm just going to go to my first clip and then right click and press Show Clip Keyframes, and then go to Time Remapping and press Speed. And I have a tutorial on how to do speed ramping in Premiere Pro, so I'm going to leave it in the description. But I'm just going to show you really quick on this first clip. Okay, so basically I'm going to go down to where it has time remapping on this clip and then at the end of the clip where I want it to speed up I'm going to press the keyframe button and then I can just drag the video line up so I can see more of it and then at the end I can just drag that line up and it'll speed it up very fast and then I can also just drag the keyframe and then it'll make a little slope so it'll gradually speed up and now I can basically do that to all the clips that I want to do and just create speed ramps okay so I basically did that very fast to create some speed ramping and then I'm just gonna add a new adjustment layer and then this is what's good about Premiere Pro I can add my favorite LUT that I created it's FVS2 and I have a LUT pack so I'll leave it in the description where you can download it so yeah, that looks so much better with color grading. And then I can also add a letterbox effect on top if I wanted to, like how in iMovie I could. Or you can just create two black videos. So this is a technique I didn't actually show you guys before. But to create a letterbox effect, you can go to new file and then a black video and then just drag it for your entire sequence. And then go to crop. And then for top, you can change that to a nice looking letterbox. So I think 90% looks okay. And then you can just hold Alt and drag it to the fourth video line. For this one, you're going to reset the top and then go to bottom and make that one 90% also. So basically, you have an easy letterbox effect. Okay, so now the thing with Premiere Pro is you can add different effects that are built in. And iMovie doesn't really have good effects. So yeah, you can add like cross dissolve, which is a fade. Or you can add luma key. And to do that, I actually have a tutorial on that. It's called Taylor Cut Films Transition. So I'll leave that in the description also. But basically, I'm just going to overlap the clips and then add luma key on my first one. And then go to threshold and then press the keyframe button a little bit before the end of the clip. Then go to the end of the clip and make that 100%. And there's so many other transitions I can use for this sequence. But basically in Premiere Pro you can do so much more. But if we look at iMovie and our Premiere Pro sequences, we don't really see that big of a quality difference. Because in iMovie you can create some pretty professional stuff. And yeah, that's why I wanted to show you guys that you can definitely create professional stuff looking content using iMovie and yeah so that's basically how to make a cinematic sequence in iMovie and Premiere Pro was kind of rushed because I have so many videos on everything that I was talking about but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys